If you want to make a simple hairband but you don't want the hairband to be too plain, this video is specially made for you. Hey everyone, hey crafters, welcome to Anju Risa's crafting room. My name is Risa, but I prefer to be called Risa simply because it's easier. And today I will show you how to make this simple hairband, but we use two different patterns, two different fabric. So let's get started. Let us prepare the material. I am going to show you the headband size that I use. I am using one centimeter headband size or no more than half an inch, but you can use any size for the headband. We can adjust it on the fabric for later. And then we have to measure the length of the head hairband. So I am going to measure it right here using centimeter measurement. It's about 38 centimeters or we can say 15 inches and then we have to prepare the fabric there are two pieces of fabric you can use any fabric for this you can use cotton fabric like i did here or you can even use a cotton and a layer of lace fabric like i did here there are two pieces of fabric here the length of this fabric should be the same as the length of your hairband so mine is about 15 inches and the larger piece here is about 4 inches it's about 4 inches and the smaller one is about how do we say it 2 and 3 quarter inch or let's say it's about 7 centimeters so whatever size you use you can modify the size with this fabric size the final result of my hairband the width is about two inches so whatever size you use the gap here the gap here should be twice the size of our hairband because we want to insert the hairband inside so the difference here should be at least twice the size of our hairband let's take this with the right sides together I am going to place it here and we are going to sew a straight line I have sewed the fabric and if you have been following me or you have watched my previous videos maybe maybe you will know that I'm a knit freak I love everything tidy and knit so now I'm going to press the seam open because I want the final result to be extra clean and extra neat. So when I press the seam open like this, the fabric won't be bulky on one side. It's just, it's so, I'm so happy to see everything neat and tidy. Now after we press the seam open, turn the fabric and we are going to sew this part so a straight line after we sew a straight line as you can see this is the seam that we press open I'm going to lay the fabric right here flat down and then you can see it's peeking out from here next we are going to sew this part and to make it easy you are going to sew right on the previous sewing thread right here I have sewed for the third times here and the reason that I tell you that the difference of the fabric should be at least twice the size of our hairband so that our hairband can fit smoothly inside now you have to confirm you have to make sure that the hairband will fit inside smoothly next I am going to press the center part here so it can lay flat down when we insert the hairband just press it now let us turn the fabric right side out Now let us press the fabric for the last time. I promise this is the last time. I 
after we press the fabric i want to insert something inside you can use felt fabric you can use sponge fabric like i did here i am using sponge fabric for this so the shape is a little sturdy and stiff and this one is the one that i made without inserting anything as you can see it's kind of slouchy it's not sturdy i just want to make the shape look sturdy like this you can skip this part if you like and the size is about shorter than our fabric it's about 11 inches mine is about 11 inches and the width it should be enough to fit inside so this sponge fabric will depends on the fabric that you use after you press the fabric like this so i'm going to insert the sponge inside just use my middle finger or, or index finger push it inside here so i can just grab it grab it here and slide the sponge fabric inside now after you put it inside you're going to roll it flat down just roll it now after i roll the fabric flat down we are going to insert the hairband inside make sure that you insert the hairband inside the little piece of fabric here so that our hairband will stays on the middle after we insert this into the fabric just put it inside it can be a little longer so we have to trim a little let me trim this a little is it enough Okay, I think it's enough. Now we are going to finish two ends here, but I will only show you once. First, let us prepare the hot glue gun. You can add a little glue here so that the fabric will stay in place. And then prepare your needle and thread. We are going to wrap this. Wrap it like this and this and wrap it around take the needle and thread and we are going to secure the the end of the fabric wrap it a few times and wrap it tightly and secure the thread Next, prepare a ribbon for this for this the size of the hairband. I think I'm going to use one and a half inch. So I'm going to need three inches for two pieces. Let's seal the ribbon. Let us add a little glue, attach the hairband, attach some glue on the right side, wrap it, attach the glue on the left side, and wrap it. Now we are going to repeat this on the other part. I have finished tidy up both ends and the final result is about 2 inches. You can make it wider, you can make it smaller, just adjust it on the fabric. That's it! Our simple two-tones hairband is finished! Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a like and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and tell me below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!